If you just started playing badminton, we're going to show you how to move around on the court. This is Basic Fitter. We are a badminton brand founded by myself, Lemon Quack, and Morten Frost, the former Old England champion. What we want to do is to create high quality products with a very minimalistic approach. So when you see our products, I'm sure you'll feel like this minimalistic Scandinavian vibe. That's what we believe is missing in badminton. So overall in badminton, we have four corners. Number one, forehand at the net. Number two, backhand at the net. Number three, forehand on the rear court. And number four, backhand at the rear court. We're gonna take you through each of them. So before we begin, I'd like to talk about three important things. What is a lunge? A lunge is where you, yeah, lunge on your right leg. If I'm a right-hander, if I'm a left-hander, then it's a lunge on my left leg. A lunge is the last step when I hit my shuttle. So example, if I move to my forehand corner at the net, this is my lunge. A key element when lunging on court is your foot needs to point at the corner that you're launching towards. So again, if I'm launching towards my backhand corner at the net, then my foot is pointing towards that direction in my lunge. Not this or, or that, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on my knees. I'm launching toward the direction that the shuttle is at. So that's super important in my lunge. So uh, what is a split jump, or some might call it a split step as well. It's like this small jump or step that you do to prepare how to move towards the next shot that's coming. So it is like I've played one shot, perhaps over here, and then this is the split jump. So this is the timing that I'm doing this jump so I can move towards the next shot depending on where it's played. So the last thing that I want you to know is a scissor jump. It's basically when I move towards the rear court, I have my left side towards the net. And once I hit the shot, I do like this full rotation and land with my right foot towards the net. So it's starting on the left side and landing on the right side if I'm a right-hander. And as you see here, I'm getting back into the corner. So that is a scissor jump. First up, we're gonna talk about the forehand side at the net. So step number one is the split jump. Always start with the split jump. That's how we prepare. So split jump and then using our left leg, we're gonna cross behind our right foot. So here, split jump, cross behind. And then actually we're gonna take a long lunge towards the forehand corner at the net. So it looks like this, split jump, cross behind and lunge. Next up, we're gonna talk about the backhand at the net. So moving towards the backhand corner at the net is again starting with split jump, using my left one to do like a small step. So split jump left and then I do my lunge. So step one is a split jump, then I have a movement with my left leg, and then the last a lunge. So if I do it a bit quicker, one, two, and number three. Number three, we're gonna talk about the forehand on the rear court. So the first step that we're gonna do is the split jump. Then we're gonna make a smaller jump towards the corner. So number one, Number two is the smaller step. And then we're actually gonna do the scissor jump where we jump a bit backwards, but again, land on our left foot first as I'm a right-hander. Step one is the split jump. Then we have the small jump and then the scissor jump. That's basically how we wanna move towards the rear court. This isn't the only footwork in how to move towards the forehand. If you wanna watch more variation, we have done a forehand corner footwork video that I've linked in the description. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the backhand side on the rear court. So how to move to the rear court at the backhand corner, it's also what we call the around the head corner because I played a shot around the head, funny enough. So let me take you through how to do it. Uh, it's the split jump as we see here. And then we have a smaller jump using one leg. And while doing that, we actually also rotate in our body. And the last one after that 
is the scissor jump. Again, we're gonna jump a bit towards the corner, so we're gonna jump a bit backwards. But again, we wanna make sure we land on our left leg first, if I'm a right-hander, because then I can push towards the corner easily. So let me show you the full movement. Split jump, one leg with rotation, and then the scissor jump. So that is the basic steps in moving towards the around head corner or the backhand corner, as we also call it. The footwork is a fundamental thing in badminton. And if you just started, I think this is super important in how to improve your badminton game. So we have taken you through the, the forehand net, hand backhand, rear court forehand and the rear court backhand side. Practice it. It is not easy. It's super difficult, but just keep doing it and I'm sure you will learn it. If you liked watching this video and enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button and subscribe to Basic Feather.